Hey everybody, this is Stephen Ward. This is going to be a really short video, but I wanted to walk you through how you can use the solution file that I uploaded to GitHub on the Power Apps OCR demo and how you can get that installed in your own environment. So the setup is going to be that I'm going to download this file from GitHub. We're then going to publish that to a environment in the Power Platform, and I'll walk you through how you can then get that set up to work correctly. I hope this video makes sense. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. All right, so here is my GitHub page that has the sample solution file for the OCR demo that I had shown in a previous video. First thing you wanna do is make sure you download the solution file to your machine. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your Power Apps environment with the environment that you wanna install your solution into. So I'm in Steve's test environment. That's where I wanna install the sample app. I'm gonna to go to solutions. I'm going to go to import because I wanna import the solution file. I'm now going to choose my computer vision OCR solution file here. We'll say next, import. And now it's going to go ahead and import the solution file with both the flow and also the canvas app application inside of it. So we'll give that a second. Okay, so the solution imported successfully. So first thing that we want to do is let's go into the solution file and let's take a look at the flow. So now we're looking at the OCR flow. We're going to go into edit. Now, the first thing you need to do is in your Azure subscription, you do need to spin up a, compu a computer vision API to configure this to. Once you do that, copy the API, put that right here. So replace the text here with your API key. The next thing you want to do is um, replace your endpoint with this right here. Now, what you want to make sure is that this part here is what you replace the slash vision slash v3.1 slash read slash analyze. Keep that part there because that's specifically the analyze API for the computer vision endpoint. Once you do that, go ahead and save your flow. And then you can go back into solutions to look at the solution file here. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to edit the app. So we'll go to say edit. And now the last thing we got to do is we just have to reestablish the connection to the flow that we just saved. So if we were to go here to data connections, you'll see that the computer vision read API flow is not connected. First thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to remove that. Now, this is going to break the button here because if we look at the formula, I've got a call inside of there to the computer vision API flow. Now, there's a couple different ways we could reestablish this. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to do that. I'm going to create just a brand new button. So I'm going to insert a button on the screen. And this button, we're not going to keep it here. We're just going to use this for the sole purpose of adding a Power Automate action. Now, when I click on this, I can then um, connect to the Computer Vision Read API flow, which is what we want to do to reestablish this connection in the Canvas app. So I click on that. And now what that did is it actually reestablished the connection. I'm going to delete this button. And if we go back to the process button, you'll see that now we no longer have an error and it's actually connected. If we zoomed in right here, we can see right there that the, the data source for the flow is now connected again. Last thing you want to do here is just go ahead and actually save this app. Once you do that, you're off to the races and you're good to go. I hope this helps clarify how you can actually get this set up in your own environment. If you have any questions, please let me know.